Sun and clouds on this Friday, temperatures into the mid 50s, going to be more mild than yesterday, and it's going to be cooler than what we'll see tomorrow as we start to see changes in our forecasts. For tonight, temperatures down to 38 degrees, going to be clouds, mild chance of an early morning Saturday shower, but that's about it. Um, Saturday itself should be relatively dry. Just pointing your attention south of the Great Lakes, Indiana, Illinois. Severe weather firing up last night and in the early morning hours. <clears throat> and that's going to be a, a trend as wet weather starts to move into New England. Um, we still have record heat into the south and central parts of the country. Now, the four-day forecast, yeah, throughout Saturday evening, we're looking relatively dry, variable clouds. We start to see that increased chance of showers. That's going to be really for Sunday with rain. We're going to get some breaks, and then we're going to see some more coming in for Monday in our area. Certainly mountains are going to be seeing it. We'll get a break Tuesday, and then we'll see more coming in for Wednesday, Thursday. So that's sort of the setup as we're going to see, uh, again, these periods of rain coming in starting really Sunday and then really all the way through next week, except for Tuesday looks to be drier. Uh, today, into the mid-50s for Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, uh, near 60 into St. Mary's. Pullman, you're at 57 degrees. Again, sun and clouds should be dry. Lewiston at 64. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s on the east slopes of the Cascades. If you're traveling today, really is going to be a, a pretty nice day, all in all. Not too bad. Now, we look at what we have for uh, the planning forecast and those rainy conditions Sunday, Monday. So today and tomorrow, you have time to get things done. This is going to wrap up the uh, Fall Harvest Festival up at Green Bluff uh, for this weekend, as this is the last weekend of October. And then, of course, we start to see things uh, change a little bit as we get into um, mid-40s and showery towards the end of the week. I'm Mark Peterson. The First Alert Weather app is still free. It's still available in the App Store, and it help you figure out, oh, maybe when you want to go trick-or-treating.